Hey y'all, Shay here. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're gonna to be doing a WIP and chat. WIP, W-I-P, stands for work in progress. And we're just gonna chat and hang out and catch up. Um, so go ahead and grab any crafting project. Let me keep you company, whatever you wanna do for the next hour. Typically go for an hour, we'll see. I always say I'm not gonna go that long, but normally I'm a long-winded person and it goes about an hour. So um, yes, thank you so, so much for being here today. Um, if you're new, Thank you for coming and I hope you stay and subscribe. And if you're returning, thank you. And I feel like I don't give the folks that keep returning and some of my subscribers, you know, um, all the love they deserve. And I always sometimes feel like I'm always like, you know, uh, thankful and, you know, appreciated, you know, and, and appreciating y'all and thanking you whenever it's like a big milestone. But it this is huge. I'm still going. I'm loving it. I wouldn't be here without you guys. And I just wanted to say thank you. I was feeling the love. Um, something came over me last night and I was like, I really do love everybody and I, I wanna make sure that I tell them that and um, <clears throat> that y'all know. I just got a little sip of coffee. So I don't know, I had, I always, when I say coffee, I feel like I have to say it like in a Boston accent. I don't know why. It just seems like coffee talk. So we're gonna have some coffee talk and uh, so it is Thursday for me slash Thursday for y'all. This is an entirely different angle. It feels kind of weird. Um, I normally have the camera closer to my face, kind of like overhead. This time I've got it in front of me pointing down. So I don't even know where to, I don't know. I tried to put it, I can't see what y'all are seeing. So I hope you can, uh, this is a good angle. I know some of you watch, some of you don't, but I thought it would be fun just to kind of play around and uh, change it up a bit. I've been trying to figure out how to do that. Um, I was gonna start diamond painting, but I need to cover what we're working on first. Okay, so grab something to eat, grab something to drink. Um, like I said, I have some coffee. Oh, coffee, got the coffee. It is 9.35 in the morning, like I said, on Thursday. Normally I try to do these Wednesday, so I have it up for y'all and ready to go on Thursday morning, but didn't happen, life happened. We'll get into that in a sec. So, um, all right, I'm gonna be diamond painting and I've got it upside down and I know I'm y'all are zoomed in. So I'll go ahead and pop up an image on the screen um, so you can see what I'm working on. This is a diamond painting from Craft Ease. It's been a minute since I've done a Craft Ease. I wanted something small, something round, and this fit the bill. And I like the bright colors. It's very spring. It's got the, you know, the fuchsias and the purples and the magentas. It's really, really pretty. So um, it is fairly small too, which I enjoy. Let me see, what does it say? It is a 35 by 55, so it's a great size. It is from the artist Sybil Art, so it is licensed artwork. I'll have it linked down below if y'all wanna go check out Craft Ease. I am an affiliate, so I also have an affiliate code. Um, speaking of affiliate ships, real quick, I know I'm talking about companies back to back, so uh, oops, but um, I'm just gonna start dying pinning y'all as we talk. Uh, I just can't sit here and look at it without doing it. Um, I'm also a newly, an affiliate to uh, Paint Gem. So Paint Gem are like those little baby ones. They're super cute. They have like the plants and the, the dogs and all the different, you know, um, different series of painting. So I'll have that link down below too, but that just happened recently and I haven't even like mentioned it or told y'all. So if you're gonna order any Paint Gem, um, use my discount code so y'all can get a discount. And of course I get a little bit back too. So I really, really do appreciate it. It goes right back into the channel. So I can like upgrade equipment, you know, buy things to show you guys, all that stuff. So. All right, let's see what I'm working on. So here's my painting. Y'all can see it up on the screen. I'll probably just leave it on the screen the whole time so you can kind of just see what I'm working on. I am on the very last row. I say last row. Um, I turned it upside down. I did the bottom row or the top row, I guess, when I flipped it upside down. I've got one more row to go. So when I finish this, um, I don't know. I will see what I'm gonna work on next. I am not doing an event for this month. I did host um, along with my best friend, Randy. You can call me Butter. We hosted uh, Mermaids and Magic in the month of March. So we had a fantastic time. We'll talk about that in a sec. Um, but just coming off of that event, I just thought it'd be fun just to kind of do whatever, you know, whatever I feel like doing when I want to do it. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I'm just kind of taking it slow. I want to do smaller ones, I think. It's kind of what I'm feeling. So I'm going with how I feel. All right, so Crafty's painting, check. Uh, Muni made tray. No, 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 no. Bella Art Dana tray. So sorry. <laughs> Y'all, so many trays. Uh, this is Bella Art Dana Cole. It does come with a stopper and a lid. I don't use either one. I just kind of go like this when I shake it, so I don't need it. Uh, and I don't stack them, so don't need the lids. But yes, it's in a really hot pink color. I don't know, it's probably like a bubble. I don't know what the color is, but it's pink. 
And then I have my pen from Enablers Outpost. It's fairly new. I got it in February, kind of like Valentine's Day-ish uh, pen. So it's like a really, really light, light pink with some gold and some silver flakes in there. Yes, so I love this pen. And I do have micro glue dots in my single placer. I just use the brass tip. I don't use any fancy stainless steel tips or metal tips. And then I have just the, the plastic white uh, multi-placers. And I'm using an eight placer and I'm using Enablers Outpost's Chit in the cinnamon scent. And it smells so good. And I do have a tiny little piece of washi tape wrapped around my multi-placer. If they're ever loose, just wrap a little bit at the base of the multi-placer and just stuff it in there and it just kind of makes it a tight fit. And I'm using uh, Harbor Freight containers, the little boxes. There's only 18 colors, so very, very nice. Um, Harbor Freight, you can fit 24, because 25 is the actual big box that they come into. It holds 24 colors, so it's a great little kit for something like this to use for storage. And then I have my little ceramic cutter to cut back the plastic. Uh, the pink little bows right here, the washi tape, this is from Simply Gilded. Love their washi tape. Uh, what else? And then of course my tweezers. Um, I don't have a cover minder right now. I did. I was using this one from Diamond Art Club, but I don't have any more plastic to uh, peel back because this is the last row. So I just cut the entire thing off and I don't need to hold anything back. Okay. Was that fast and furious enough? All right. So let's get into it, you guys. Um, the drills I'm doing right now, I don't know if you can see them. Hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing. I probably should check before I keep going, but oh well. It is what it is, right? It's just weird, I can't see because the camera's facing like towards me. Anyways, um, whoa, these are like glow-in-the-dark drills, I think. They're very, very clear. And so I think these are the glow-in-the-dark ones, which this painting has glow-in-the-dark drills that comes with it. And I'm not used to working with glow-in-the-dark, but it was funny, the other night I was done diamond painting and I turned off my light and I stepped back for a second to walk out, walk away and I was like, whoa, it's so cool. So I'm never, I don't have any glow-in-the-dark painting, so it's kind of fun. So yeah, go check this out if y'all are interested. What I like about Crafties is they have um, man, they have like good-sized paintings. They have some like you know 30 by 40s, 40 by 40s, you know ones like this. So if you want like you know something smaller, they're they're great to have. All right, so I have an idea, and I wanted to you know pass it by y'all and see what you think. Um, it just kind of popped in my brain last night and I was like, hmm, I don't know. So I wanted to get your opinion. I am thinking about an event that I don't think has been done yet. So y'all let me know. I don't know every event that's been done in the history of events. So, um, but I'm thinking this could be something kind of fun, different. I don't know exactly how it would work. I mean, I guess we could figure it out, but I just wanted to kind of brainstorm with you guys. What do you think about um, an event that would be geared towards snacky snack and baby size painting, like snack size paintings, like little ones. I feel like there's events for like big ends and the big ones, but is there like an event for like small baby paintings? <laughs> I don't know, is that even, a, should that be a thing? I I love small ones. I That's kind of my jam right now. I kind of want to do a few small ones. I just ordered a couple small ones from Diamond Art Club. I'm gonna be doing an unboxing. I got two little babies. They're so cute, so cute. So I'm very, very excited about those. Um, they're rounds, they're little, and um, I think the detail is going to be perfect in them. It doesn't need a whole lot of detail. So what do y'all think about like a, I was thinking something like around like, I don't know, summer snack, snack size summer or something to do in the summer with like a little snack, but maybe you could do like alongside a, another event. I oh, know that probably wouldn't work because the small one wouldn't work for a bigger event probably. But um, yeah, I'm just kind of talking out loud, thinking out loud, I should say. But what do y'all think? I don't know if anyone's ever done that. I don't even know if it would work because I thought about it and I was like, well, if it is a snack size and it is a little a little baby, then, or not a baby, for some that's normal size, right? You know, whatever it is for everybody. But, um, you know, normally in the community we call them snack sizes. But how would that work? Because if it was a month long event, most folks would probably finish in like a week or two. But on the flip side, you would actually have a finish. Wouldn't that be fantastic, right? to have an event, to participate in an event where you could finish your painting? Yeah. So I don't know, what do y'all think? Am I crazy? Am I not? I mean, I know I'm crazy, but does that make sense? Would that be something y'all would be interested in? And has someone done that yet? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you think or send me a private message. Um, yeah, just hit me up. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions, your ideas. 
advice, all the things. Um, Y'all are so smart and you always give me such great advice. So I was just kind of curious. Um, all right, so that's kind of what I was thinking about when I started pulling out little ones. Um, all right, what else, what else, what else? Mermaids and magic, it ended. It ended, I'm kind of sad because um, I was, I'm still going into the Facebook group and I'm still going on the Instagram hashtag mermaids and magic 2023 and people are posting their finishes and I'm liking them and I'm like, it's not over, you can keep going. I mean, it is over technically, officially over, but keep going. I'm still checking the, the site. It's the mermaids and the magic and the fantasy. They're just beautiful. Lo and you know, I'm loving all the mermaids. If y'all are new, um, I'm somewhat of a fanatic when it comes to mermaids. Yeah, I love them very, very much. So seeing all these beautiful mermaids just go across my screen and all these different, you know, pages and Instagram feeds, it's just, it's so cool. So it was a great event. Um, it's over, like I said, we did the live, the grand finale live uh, last Sunday. I say we, we did it, but we did not have Randy there. Randy had the Rona. She still has it, I guess, technically. Um, I talked to her last night and she's starting to feel a little better. Her tummy is still like bothering her and she's still got a cough. So, um, but she was in the chat with us and she was there, she was there, but she wasn't, you know, on camera with me. So, um, it was sad that I know, I know she really was bummed out that she missed it, but y'all were so sweet. Uh, for those of you that were there, a lot of people were like, you know, giving her hearts and, you know, wishing her well. So I know she was very sorry to miss it. And, uh, I did my best. <laughs> I was a little stressed out. I was like, oh my gosh, I, I don't know if I'm doing all these giveaways right. I feel like it wasn't like very um, professional as far as like cool giveaway, you know, ways to do the giveaway. I had a spreadsheet and I definitely wanna do it differently next time, but I had a spreadsheet, a Google form that I had, you know, downloaded that everybody had filled out the Google exit form. And then I needed to like draw numbers because you know, it's a spreadsheet and that's, everybody was assigned a number essentially when they filled out the Google form. And so I was kind of just doing a number thing and I was sharing my screen. I've never shared my screen before on StreamYard. And it's funny, I thought I was all good and I was all like proud of myself sort of. And then I went back and I watched the replay, which by the way, if you haven't watched the replay, you might wanna go watch it because I have not heard back from all the winners. Mm -mm. I have heard from a couple, but there's still a couple outstanding ones. So if I don't hear back from them by next Sunday, we'll have to do a redraw. Yep. So if you're wondering if you won and you haven't watched it yet, you might wanna go watch it. International and US, like I said, we still have some unclaimed prizes. So, but uh, but yeah, I kind of felt like I, you know, wanted to do something kind of, so I went and watched the replay and I realized during a lot of them, when I was going back to do another giveaway, y'all never were seeing my screen I was sharing. So I was doing something wrong. I guess you have to like maybe reshare it every single time because I was going in and out so I could see the comments. And again, didn't really test it. Wasn't like 100% really prepared for the event, the, the grand prize. It just, it was a crazy day as usual. So I was at the mall with Lou and we were getting shoes and it, um, yeah, I just felt rushed. So where did I miss a symbol? I feel like I missed one. Here it is. These are really hard because they're white symbols um, with these white clear kind of glow in the dark drills. So it's kind of hard to see. Oh, yep. It's really hard to see when you've missed one because they're, um, so y'all let me know about this angle. I know a lot of creators talk about this a lot, you know, whether people watch it or not. I do a little bit of both. So I kind of like watching the screen from time to time. I'll look up because it's kind of like we're together, right? We're diamond painting together. We're, we're hanging out. I know I saw one. Where'd you go? I'm kind of looking, I'm letting the light hit it. Oh, there it goes. And if I don't see one in a spot, but yeah, this is a hard one, this color. Uh, another thing about this painting that I'm not loving. So two things, um, the edges are not scalloped and poked. So it's fraying a little bit, a little bit of fraying. And then um, also there's guide circles. See these white circles? Like you've got this, you know, the red background, but you've got this white and the white. And so if you don't place the drill exactly on there, you can see a little bit of the white background poking out, especially like with this black, there's white in the background. So I'm not loving that. I don't like the, they're called training wheels, guide circles. There's different names for them, but so that I'm not a huge fan of, but it's not bad, but the drill quality is great. There's crystals in this. As you can see, there's glow in the dark crystals. Um, there hasn't really been any trash. I haven't run out of anything yet. So yeah, it's just been a nice, like I said, little breather, you know, um, I did not finish my mermaids and magic canvas. I was doing uh, a muni made painting 
from uh, the artist Deity of Dawn. No, no, that was the name of the painting, but it's from Femke Deborah is the artist. And love the painting. It was really confetti heavy though. So it was taking me a long time. Sorry, y'all, I'm just picking off some, some uh, putty that got on the, there. Um, yeah, very confetti heavy, but, so I just put her away. I wrapped her up and I know that gave some people a little bit of a, some anxiety. We talked about it in my live on, on Saturday, how I kind of had just, you know, rolled her back up and gonna do her again next year. We'll pull her out again next year and come, you know, continue to work on her. And some folks were like, how can you do that? You know, how can you have an unfinished whip and just like wrap, go to the next one? I'm like, well, cause I mean, after about a month, I'm good y'all. I, I get a little antsy after about a month. I'm like, okay, on to something else. And plus, you know, like a lot of us do, we have some beautiful paintings in our stash and I wanna experience a lot of different kinds and artists and companies and so, yeah. All right, I'm gonna attempt to multi-place and talk at the same time. Ooh, these crystals are really pretty. I'm just gonna look over my camera for a second. I'm gonna stand up and just make sure y'all can see. I know I've moved the canvas a little bit as I've kind of been talking and it's kind of scooching around, but let me just take a little peek, make sure y'all can see. Let me pretend, do, do, do. Okay, I look like I'm still in frame. But yeah, mermaids and magic is over. <laughs> it's over, but keep going. It doesn't have to be over for you. I mean, just as far as the whipping chats and the prizes and all that is officially over, but a lot, a lot of fun. Y'all let me know. We haven't put together like an official like feedback form, but if y'all want to let us know, send Randy and I a message. If there's anything you think we should do differently for next year, because that'll be our third year. So, I mean, we've, we've learned some things along the way, but I would love to hear your feedback and get your opinion on what y'all think about, you know, the event. I know a lot of you and you don't have, I mean, I'm not looking for like, you know, praises and so many of y'all in so many times have thanked Randy and I for hosting the event and you said you had a great time. So that really, really means a lot to us. So thank you for all those kind comments. I guess I'm just looking for like, you know, anything you'd, that you'd like to see differently in a nice way. Don't hurt my feelings. No, it. it I, I would really like to know if there's anything else y'all would like to see um, done differently. I'm always open for suggestions. All right, so what else with Mermaids and Magic? Um, I don't know, other than the unclaimed prizes, which I kind of just wanted to highlight, make sure everybody has, uh, you know, and again, thank you to the, I felt so bad. During the live, I was like, okay, everybody, we're gonna go now, and I was getting ready to go, and I'm like, Randy, do you have anything you wanna add and or say before we head out? And she's like, yes, thank you to our, our sponsors and our donations. I'm like, oh my gosh, y'all, I totally forgot to thank our sponsors. I feel like such an asshole. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. But yes, thank you to all the folks. If any of you are listening and thank you, just so y'all know, we couldn't do the events without them and we wouldn't have the money to buy all those things. So it, the events are huge with the sponsorships and everybody's just so, so generous. So really, really nice. Like, you know, the Diamond Pen Pal, those lava pens, those are expensive. And they, they gave two of them to us, you know, one for Randy and one for myself. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot, you know, the things that these folks do for us. And I just, I wanna make sure that they know that, you know, we really appreciate it. So y'all go check them out and support those shops. Um, speaking of supporting shops, uh, I did tell you I'm using Enablers Outpost pen, but um, I also bought three new pens that just came in the mail that I need to do a, an unboxing for. I'm dying to get into them. I wanted to support Edward and Elizabeth over at Enablers Outpost. They, um, one of their doggos is having surgery and it's quite expensive. So, um, and, you know, they're not necessarily looking for donations. They're just looking for maybe support for their shop, you know, just to go in and maybe purchase some things. Um, I think they just had a drop or will today, I believe, of some new pens or some blanks. So um, I will have them linked down below, their Instagram and their uh, website where you can go check them out. They have diamond paintings, not just pens, but they have diamond paintings. They have chit, which is the putty that I use on my multi-placer and it smells so good. I have coconut, I have, I'm have i a cinnaholic, so I love cinnamon. So I have a couple cinnamons and as y'all can see, I'm using it and it works just great. So for multi-placing, it's perfect. And I've never used it in my single placer. I'm more of a glue dots gal, so. All right, so yes, definitely support them. Support all these small shops, you know. They, um, they're a huge part of this community and I always want to make sure I try to give them a shout out, you know. I'm, yes, I'm friends with some of them. I've become friends with them over time, but um, yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys, something just reminded me. Oh my God, I gotta tell you something. Get this. Okay, I'm so excited. When I said friends, it clicked and I'm like, 
Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell them. I didn't even write it down to mention it to y'all. All right, so during my live on Sunday, um, I got an email. I didn't see it until I got off, but it came in around 4.30 and I was on the live at that point. And uh, so after I got off, I was you know, checking my email after I made dinner and I was chilling and checking through my email and I get an email saying, congratulations, you are, you've made it off the wait list. I'm going to the retreat in June of this year. So just like a couple months, I get to go to the Great Escape, wait, Great Lakes Escape Retreat. And there's gonna be so many friends there, online friends that I've never met. Um, Randy and I both got in, she got in first. And I thought, okay, I'm not gonna get in. This is not looking good, because I had not heard anything yet. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. I was getting updates. I mean, the, the committee was great. I was getting updates as far as like, you're on the waiting list and here's kind of what's going on. And we'll, we'll contact you if this person, you know, falls through and there's a spot. And I was like, oh, but I was like number two. And I wasn't hearing back and I was like, okay, I think I, I think that person paid and I didn't get in. So I was kind of starting to think, uh, you know, Randy will just go without me. And which is, I was giving her a hard time because I told Randy, I said, I'm not gonna go unless you go. But she was like, oh, I'm going. <laughs> So I knew she was going to go without me either way. I was like, okay, but I wasn't going to go without her. I wasn't going to do that. So, oh my gosh, we, um, so she had sent me a picture of her face. She sent me a picture of herself, like all excited and like a crazy face, an excitement face. Um, whenever she found out she got in. So I read the message and I was like, oh my gosh, I was jumping up around. I was telling my husband, oh my gosh, I got in, I got in, I got in. And so I took a picture of myself with a crazy excitement face. And I sent it to Randy and I'm like, guess what? And I just sent that picture of my face. And she was like, no, no. And so she was, oh my gosh, you guys, it made me feel so happy to see her excitement that I was going. And so then, um, you know, I had got to deal with stuff with kids and you know, all the things and I'm putting Lou to bed. But during that time, so after I put Lou to bed, I was doing something else and it's about 10 o'clock. No, yeah, about 10 o'clock. And I'm getting all these text messages from Randy and she's like, she knows how I'm bad about like calling her back and checking messages and stuff. So she was like, she would send me individual message. One said book, another one said your, and all caps. Next one said flight. Next one said in caps, now. She, she booked her flight and she, there was, she wanted me to sit next to her, right? And there was a seat next to her still. So I'm like freaking out. I'm like, oh my gosh. So I tell my husband and he's like, yeah, let's look at it. So I booked my flight and I, uh, I'm sitting next to her. So we're flying in, we're actually gonna fly into Detroit because um, the, the retreat is in Ohio, I believe. Yeah, it's in Ohio. And so I guess you fly into Detroit and then you can drive there. So that's our plan. We're gonna have a rental car and we're gonna um, fly in together. And we're actually going to, uh, I think we're gonna get there the uh, night before so we can hang out with some folks. But you guys, when I found out who all is going, I was like, are you kidding me? I get to meet. And I hope I'm not bragging y'all. I don't want to be bragging, but I'm just excited. And I hope y'all can be excited for me. I don't want to be like, no, 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 no. Look what I get to do. I'm, I don't like that, but I'm just, I want to share my excitement. And I, I know, I know y'all will appreciate it, but, and support it. But I don't want to make sure, I, I just want to make sure I'm not bragging. Cause not everybody can go. And I, I, I get that, but I really wanted to go last year and I didn't get a chance to, and I want to go the year before. I was like, okay, I want to go this year. And the fact that I got in, but when I found out the list of folks that are going to be there that are, I had no idea. I get to meet so many friends that I've known on, that I've been friends with online for like three years now, over three years. And I finally get to meet them in person. <sighs> Plus I get to go on a trip with my best friend. Uh, I get to take a little break from the house. I mean, just the whole thing. I'm just, I'm super, super excited. So when I start having a bad day, I just start thinking about that. And I'm like, this, this is, I can do this. I can do this because I get to go, you know, I get to go take a little vacation. I get to go on a little trip soon. So uh, it's the end of June. And of course I'll definitely try to, you know, uh, maybe do, I don't know if my live time will be during, I th I'm not even sure what when we're leaving and coming. But um, if I can like, of course do my whip and chat, I still try to do that. And if I can do a live, I'll do that from there. But I definitely wanna be, um, aware and conscious of like, not everybody wants to be on camera and you kind of have to be real careful in those type of settings. Some retreats even have like rules where, you know, they say you cannot film unless you're in like this, you know, designated area, like to do your lives and stuff. And I think that's great because not everybody wants to be part of that. So you definitely have to, you know, think about those folks, but yes. So Randy, and she's so excited. We were talking about the rental car yesterday 
And she was like, I'm sorry I keep talking about it, and I'm sorry I keep saying I'm excited, but I'm really excited. <laughs> and I was like, I love your enthusiasm. I love your excitement. It's making me excited. So y'all, that's all we're gonna talk about for the next, I don't know, let's see. Today's April 6th, April to May, May to June. So it's like two and a half months away. So yeah, that's, I'm trying not to talk about it. <laughs> I will be, you know, getting ready for that at some point and you know, just, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I paid my deposit um, and got my flights. So, and then like I said, Randy got a rental car for us. And she even mentioned maybe um, Chris and Kel maybe uh, flying in around the same time. And they were gonna be driving too from Detroit. So I think we might be even driving together. So I get to meet Chris and Kel. If y'all haven't checked them out yet, they are so awesome. They have a channel. I will have the link down below. I wanna have them on my uh, as a guest on my live, but I haven't had a chance to do that yet because I try not to have guests you know, every week. But I, need, I wanna have them on, I need to have them on. So, uh, but yeah, I'll definitely have them linked down below. But I get to meet, I'm not even gonna name all the folks because I might forget somebody, but there's just so many people that I've been dying to meet and that I've been friends with for years. You know, a lot of times you become closer with your online friends than your real friends. I mean, in in not real friends, but your in life, in real in life, real friends, whatever that's called, in real life. Yeah, you know, like your people you get to see all the time from day to day. So, yeah, you get really close to those folks, and I've definitely become very very close to a lot of people, and so this is it just really means a lot. So. All right, I'll stop gushing about it, you guys. I'll stop gushing, but I'm also excited. One more thing, because I think this is really going to be helpful for the planning of the retreat that I'm going to be hosting in June of 2024. That'll give me a year, right? Because we're right in the midst of like, you know, planning it and starting the process. I say we, it is uh, the committee, it consists of Kara, the principal painter, and Alyssa, the diamond painting accountant. So the three of us are hosting that event and it's called Crafter's Paradise. We do have a name and that it will be in um, the end of May of 2024. So yes, in Texas. And you know, be, be, uh, be on the lookout and I'll make sure I say something, but um, there'll be announcements when uh, it gets closer to like, you know, registration opening and all that. We're still over a year off. So yeah, we're just now working on like sponsorships and you know, logos and all the little details. We're starting, yep. We've had a couple Zoom calls, so <clears throat> it's been good. All right. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know what I've been talking about, you guys. I made notes, but I'm not even, like, looking at them, <clears throat> which is great. Sorry, y'all had a little froggy. I'm going to take a little sip of coffee. But I like just the, the whip and chat sometimes where you're just, like, you know, talking like like you would to a friend, you know, just whatever comes to mind. Um, okay, so lives. So I talked about going live. Um now this coming week, this Sunday is Easter for those, I don't, I don't know if everybody celebrates Easter like in other countries, let me know. It's probably a really stupid question, but oh well, I've said it. So. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna be going live on Easter Sunday. We don't have any plans, so I thought why not? And I can, you know, maybe have some Easter fun. I know we did it last year, cause I found my, uh, I got some bunny ears and I got a shirt. So I remember I'm like, oh, I gotta bust all that stuff out again. So. Uh, there could be a potential guest, a surprise guest. I'm not going to say anything yet. We'll just kind of see how it goes, but there might, might be a guest. So would love to have you guys come in. If you don't have any Easter plans, it will be this Sunday um, at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. So try to make it if you can, even if you've never made it to a live before or you're shy or whatever. I mean, just a lot of times you guys and a lot of people in the community know I'm a huge lurker. I just kind of hang out and, you know, cause sometimes I don't, maybe I'm not feeling social and I just want to like listen and almost treat it like, you know, like an audio book or something or a podcast. I just kind of, and then if I hear something that, you know, I want to chime in on about, then I will, or I'll say hello sometimes and then I won't say anything else. So yeah. And you don't have to know anybody to just say hi. I'd love to welcome you in if you've never been. And if y'all been to them before, keep on coming. Hopefully you're having a good time. I always try to dance it in. I like to do my little my little shimmy shimmy. I really want to try to find some new music that's copyright protected so I don't get in trouble for that. So that's one of my goals is to find some like fun music to, to dance it into because the music choices I have right now are kind of lame and I'm not getting my full dance on. Y'all haven't seen the full dance. Y'all haven't seen all my moves yet. So I need to, I need to get into that. I'm more of a like, not really rap, but like, 
I like R&B, like old school R&B. Um, you know, obviously I like top pop, you know, music, top 40. But I definitely like um, I like rap and some, um, yeah, I like some of that stuff. So yeah, try to come to live this Sunday. So uh, what else has happened this past week? Um, okay, so this last Monday, we'll just kind of rewind it a little bit. Monday was a very expensive day for us. Monday, I took in Ollie. Ollie is our little six-month-old French, little Frenchy, French bulldog. And Ollie got fixed on Monday. He got neutered. Yep, poor little guy. His, uh, as my husband would say, his coin purse is a little flat now. <laughs> it looks like a little coin purse now. Yeah. His nuggets got, got, got out. Yeah, but that poor guy, oh my gosh, y'all, he had so much work done. And even when I went to pick him up, they were like, yeah, he had a lot done. Poor guy. I'm like, oh, I know. I'm so sorry. I feel bad. I'm like, he's going to be so mad at us. But he's a trooper. So uh, Monday morning, I had to drop him off between 8 and 9. And dropped him off and, you know, went through all the paperwork. And then they were looking at his teeth. And they said, if he has any uh, baby teeth, are you okay if we pull them out? Because typically at this age, you know, by, the t you know, by this time, if they haven't lost all their baby teeth yet, we like to um, get them out while they're asleep. And then that way it won't impact, you know, the, the adult teeth coming in. And so they were looking at his mouth. I'm like, yeah, we see one. They're like, yo, do we have your permission? I was like, that's fine. I'm like, if that's something y'all recommend and yeah. So, and again, they just told me it was going to be one. And I was like, all right, so here we go. So he's getting neutered, right? He's getting a tooth pulled. Then he also has a herniated um, umbilical cord. So his little belly button sticks out. And uh, we knew that when we got him from the breeder, that's why he was like significantly discounted from how much Frenchies normally cost, which is so sad, you know? But it's like, I guess everybody wants perfection and they want like a, a dog from a breeder to be like, you know, a certain, I don't know. So I guess he was, there was something wrong with him, but everybody needs a home, we love him. And we're like, it's his umbilical cord. I mean, it's got a little hernia, it's not a big deal. And actually they even said, you know, as he gets older, it could just, you know, heal, heal itself and like get, go in more. And you know, as he's gotten older over time, um, it has gotten better and smaller, but it was still there. So we talked about, uh, you know, having, so he, he had that, to, he was gonna get that fixed too. They were gonna snip that and tuck it in and fix it. Obviously I'm not a doctor y'all, cause I'm tucking and fixing. And then um, and then he was getting his nails trimmed because why not, right? I, I added that to the list. So this poor guy was having all this stuff done. So uh, I was very nervous after dropping him off because your anesthesia is scary, right? I mean, and you know, we had brought him in the week before and did some blood work and they never called me back with the results. And I'm like, I guess that's good, but you know, he's healthy. And so, um, yeah, they never called. So I was like, dropped him off. They're like, we'll call you um, this afternoon and let you know how it goes. And then you can pick him up around five. I'm like, okay. I got more done around the house y'all on Monday than I had gotten done in a long time. Cleaning out stuff, organizing, cause I didn't have a puppy either to like, it's always something, you know, I can't just lock him up all day. I have to have him out, potty breaks, play with him, you know, take things out of his mouth. It's like having a baby, it's like having a little toddler and he's not doing very good with potty training. So that's constant. We got to keep an eagle eye on him and he, and then of course cleaning up his accidents and yeah. So he, uh, yeah, I got a lot done, but they called me around 1230 and I was so nervous when I saw it was them. They called and they said he was waking up and the surgery went well, it went great, no problems. And he was just kind of groggy and waking up. And they said, you know, we'll see you at five. I'm like, perfect. Um, but that same afternoon, so that was one expenditure that, you know, oof, it was expensive, but he's worth it, right? It's good to get him fixed. And then, um, then we went, uh, Ryan, my oldest, my 17 year old had a orthodontist appointment. He's gonna get braces. We had put him off for a long time because the, his dentist kept saying that it would be strictly cosmetic. So we finally went in for a consultation a while back and he kind of went back and forth and it's, they're expensive, you know, to have braces. But out of my three kids, no one else I think is gonna need them. And so I was like, if you need them, you need them, you know? And he's like, yeah, I don't like my smile. If they can fix this and fix that, that would be great. Cause he's real self-conscious and he always smiles like with his mouth closed. Um, he's got great teeth, but he just, he doesn't like a smile and he just, so they say they can fix some things. So anyways, we go in on Monday and, um, he had his impressions done. They basically just did like a scan. So they're making them right now. So that was expensive because we had to pay for the braces in full. I mean, they had payment plans too, but we're like, okay, we'll just figure it out. Turn on our credit cards. <laughs> so 
We put the neutering on a credit card. We put the braces on a credit card. I was like, oh my gosh. So that one day, you guys, was a very, very expensive. <laughs> very. So um, Ryan's appointment was super, super fast. It was just, I stayed in the waiting room. He went back there. He said it was almost like they just took a ton of pictures. It was like x-rays and, you know, yeah. So whatever they did to measure for the braces is what he had done. And then he goes back on Monday, the 10th, for the actual braces. We have to go to like three different appointments to do like a different locations to get different things done, like brackets here, wires here. Uh, again, this is my first time. I never had braces. So I don't even know how this whole stuff, how this whole thing works. So we're just kind of going along and going, you know, figuring it out as we go. But yeah, he's gonna have braces. So that was good, so we did that. Uh, but then I went and picked up Ollie, poor baby. Oh my goodness, I went and picked him up and I was by myself because no one else could come with me. And I thought I can do it, you know, I can carry him to the car. So I put his crate in the back of the car and uh, went and picked him up and did all the paperwork. And they said he did great. And um, they brought him out, they carried him out and he was so out of it. And I put him in the car and you know, he didn't make a peep on all the whole way home. He was super quiet and then got home and Everybody rushed out to the garage and was like, oh, Ollie. And they were all, you know, wishing him, you know, happy to see him and they missed him all day. So he is something else though, you guys. You know, it, and you know, if you've had your animal neutered before, it's like, okay, now you have to keep them calm for three to seven days. I'm like, what? How can you keep, hopefully y'all can see what I'm still doing. How, how can you keep a puppy calm? I mean, really, how, how can you keep a puppy calm? And it's not so much him by himself, it's him with our other dogs. That's where things get wild, right? So he'll like, um, you know, him and Jasper, our other Boston Terrier, we have two other Bostons, but the male Boston and Jasper and Ollie love each other. And they wrestle and they rough house and they run and they just go nuts. So, and it's funny because at the vet, she was like, yeah, Frenchies are normally pretty good. You shouldn't have a problem. And I was like, hmm. I don't think that's the case because he has a really good time with our other dog. And she goes, oh yeah, you need to keep them separated. And I was like, oh my gosh. So poor little guy has basically been locked up in it just for like potty breaks. And I do let him out, but you know, he's got two incisions. He's got, you know, and I'm constantly checking his incisions to make sure they're not getting infected. But you know, there's no bandage over them. There's nothing you put on them. You just try to keep them calm. No stairs, no jumping, which he's been jumping off the couch. He's just a, a wild dog. He's a puppy. So it's, I remember with the other two as well, it's always super hard to keep them calm, calm, uh, you know, for three to, but let's see, this was Monday and today's Thursday. So he's, we're, we're getting there and he's been on medication. They gave us uh, pain meds, which also makes them feel like, you know, hey, I'm good, no pain here. I'm just gonna run around like crazy and like a wild man. And so like they're anti-inflammatories and he's on his last pill today, tonight. So it's like twice a day he's been on that. But the funny thing was, um, before the night before we took him in my husband and I were talking and I was like yeah I hope he doesn't have to have a cone and after I said it my husband looked at me and he goes honey have you ever seen him mess with that lick himself I'm like no I haven't he goes he can't reach it <laughs> I was like oh my god you're right he goes he's so short and stubby it's short and stubby and he no he can't he, I'm like okay that's cool you won't have to deal with a cone so yeah, and even the vet started laughing because they're like, do you think you need a cone? Like we were getting ready to leave with him. And I was like, no, my husband and I were just talking about it last night and we don't, we think that Frenchies can't get to their, their, their bits. And she started laughing and she was like, it's so true. Normally they don't. So I think you're good. And she's, I heard her go back. She told the vet and the vet came and she goes, yeah, so you know that they can't reach it. I'm like, mm -mm, no, never seen a mess with it. So that's one, that was one positive. We didn't have to deal with the cone. But yeah, he's he's just running around like crazy. Oh my gosh. So I'm trying to keep him calm. That's been difficult this week. Very difficult to try to calm that guy down. I keep singing that song. I don't know who sings it. Baby, calm down, calm down, calm down. No, 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 no. It's almost like no, 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 no. Do y'all know what song I'm talking about? If you do, let me know in the comments. But yeah, I keep singing, baby, come down. Yeah. I used to think that the name of the song was like the baby, the guy was saying, come down, because he got like an accent. But no, it's I think it's the name of the song is Calm Down. So I've been singing that to him. Speaking of singers and artists and music, Taylor Swift was here this past weekend. I didn't know that. 
I don't, I'm not up on like concerts and stuff like that. I like Taylor Swift and it would have been fun, right? If you had like a thousand dollars, but I'm almost glad I didn't know about it. But Lou, my 10 year old daughter found out about a, some friends that were going and she, like the night before. And she was like, mom, Taylor Swift's coming to, I want to go to that concert so bad. I was like, okay, one, it's like tomorrow. Okay, two, um, okay, there's probably no, no, no tickets. Two, they're like $1,000 a ticket and you can't go by yourself. So that would mean we need at least two tickets. If my calculations are correct, it's a lot of money. So I was like, sorry. She was, that would have been my first concert. I wish I, I'm like, yeah, I know, I'm sorry. So I kind of feel, I mean, y'all, there's no way unless like say like some miracle or magical, you know, I had no way. I would never say never, never say never, but that's crazy to spend that kind of money on a concert. Yeah. Let me know if y'all would, if you've ever spent that kind of money on a, I mean, maybe I know some sporting events get really expensive too, like Super Bowls and all the things, you know, like big games, but gosh, for a concert, that's just so expensive. So now, um, I've kind of been looking at concerts to kind of like, you know, see if there's anybody else coming to town that maybe this summer that she'd like to go see. Um, Ed Sheeran is coming into town in May. So I asked her about that and she was like, I was like, yeah, that could be kind of boring. And then, uh, Beyonce y'all. Beyonce is gonna be coming into town in September, September 21st. It's like four days before my birthday. I'm like, ooh, that could be a good birthday present for me. And that could be Lou's first concert. Wouldn't that be awesome? But I have no idea how much those tickets were. I didn't even look. I was like, eh, and I got out of the app. So yeah, maybe she'll have her first concert at some point. We'll see. But um, yeah, I think Ed Sheeran might be maybe a little, a little boring. And they overplay him on the radio so much. Oh my gosh. I like him, or I liked him, but they just, it, you know, I can't pick up these ABs. Driving me crazy. I'm like, stab, 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 and then it finally picks it up. Um, yeah, so that's, I don't know how I got off on music, but uh, what else, what else, what else? Wednesday. Uh, that would be yesterday. And there's a reason why I didn't do my whipping chat. Um, I don't want to get into details because it's, it's, it's hard to talk about, but... Um, you know, I did do a video yesterday for my Patreon, so they know what's going on. And I don't wanna be like that with y'all, but I also don't want to have his business online, you know, all over it for everybody to see. Um, it's just, you know, it's it was pretty rough. I will just, um, it was rough. It was a rough day. It was a hard, hard day. Um, but, you know, today was better. And that's all I can, do is just and there were some apologies it was just it was rough um he was having a really really hard time this is about uh if y'all are new um i know that for those of you that have been here for a little bit you've heard me talk about this before but ryan my oldest who's going to be 18 this weekend uh struggles with his mental health and uh drug abuse and so we have some you know it's it gets hard we have hard days and he's a senior and we're just trying to get him to graduate he's supposed to graduate in may and whoo, y'all, mm. I don't know if we can, <laughs> uh, I don't know, I'm a little worried. So yes, it's gonna be a big old party if it happens, I'll tell you that. Yeah, so it was just a rough day. It was really, really hard. I don't wanna talk about it you know, in a detail because again, it's, it's upsetting, it was hard. Uh, but all I know is, and the important part here is that we got through it, he's okay, I'm okay and today's a new day and today's been great so far and he's at school so yay for that right I mean you got to take every day you know one day at a time you really really do and for those of you that are out there that are struggling or have children that are struggling or with someone a partner um, you know that struggles with their mental health or with drug or alcohol abuse um, you know hang in there hang in there because I know it's not easy but they need us and I just, you know, I wish I would have had a playbook, you know, where's the book, where's the user guide on how to handle these situations, but you just go with your heart and you do what's right for that person and for yourself, obviously, and you know, what's healthy and yeah. So, um, and I don't really get a chance to <clears throat> talk about my Patreons very much. <clears throat> you know, I mentioned that I have a Patreon, but I don't really get to thank my Patreons necessarily, like specifically to them, uh, but I know a lot of you are watching and I just wanted to say thank you because I get to click 
you know, film, you know, start on a video and I was very upset and just to be able to talk to somebody about it and get it all out in that moment is so therapeutic and so helpful. And I know that I had someone that I could talk to, you know, immediately. So I really, really do appreciate all my Patreons. And uh, so if y'all are listening, I love you. And I really, really do appreciate y'all being there for me because it's, there's been some rough days, you know? All right. So yes, but today's been better. Um, The kids, today's almost like a Friday for us. It is Thursday, but the kids do not have, um, they have off tomorrow, Friday, Good Friday. And then they have off on Monday because of Easter. So Easter is a Sunday, like we talked about. So Ryan's birthday is Saturday. So he turns 18 on Saturday, which is crazy. <clears throat> Absolutely nuts. <clears throat> I can't believe I have an 18 year old. Talk about making you feel old. I was like, what? Um, y'all, I finished with this section, I think. I've got some little, I've got some stragglers kind of hanging out. I'd love to rub my painting. It's so satisfying. And to push it down to make sure nothing's popping up. <clears throat> I like to get the roller too and roll it. I only have two squares left. I'm gonna scooch it over and see if y'all can see. Hopefully this angle's been working if y'all are watching. Hopefully. If not, I won't do it again. Okay, we're gonna do this one now. I only have this one and this one and then I'll be done with this painting. And I'll pop up a picture on Instagram um, to let y'all know. Um, okay, so yes, Ryan's birthday's on Saturday. Uh, we don't have any plans tomorrow. Just kind of chill, let the kids take a day off, have a good day off, and then Saturday's his birthday. And we kept asking him what he wanted to do for his birthday. And um, <clears throat> he were, he wanted to do lunch with the family, with my mother-in-law and my father-in-law. So I talked to her and she's definitely up for it. We're just trying to figure out where. Uh, I talked to him last night again and I think he decided on where he wants to go to lunch. But I think Saturday we're gonna do lunch for him with everybody and he wants to go to Texas Roadhouse. It's a, um, it's a chain and they have them outside of Texas. But um, I don't even, I think I've been to one like maybe one time. But um, they have these really good rolls that they're known for with like this cinnamon butter. And uh, yeah, and Ryan loves steak. That's like his favorite, favorite, favorite meal. So I told him I would talk to, you know, his dad and we would like figure it out because he's traveling this week. So he gets home tonight and we'll talk about, you know, if that's a good plan. And yeah, so I think we're gonna go to Texas Roadhouse with everybody and celebrate his birthday. And then he talked about on Friday, um, having some friends over to the house and watching a fight. He likes, um, he's all into like the UFC. I guess that's like the boxing, wrestling, fighting, kicking. I don't know what it is. It's really rough. So <laughs> that's all I know. I watch it. And I'm like, ooh, ooh. Uh, yeah, there's actually a match in Miami um, on on the night of his birthday, and he was joking around. We were asking him what, what he wanted for his birthday, and he was like, uh, I want to go to Miami and watch and go to the UFC fight. And we were like, get out of here. Get out of here with that. That is not happening. We'll buy it unless you watch it on TV with some friends. So I think that's what they're gonna do. Um, to hang out over here, which I, I prefer, which would be good. So I think that's what the plan is. I think he's gonna, it may change. You know how kids trying to plan their own things, especially boys. It's always funny to see. And it's always kind of last minute. It drives my husband crazy. Cause he'll come up like at 11 o'clock, Ryan will, and he'll be like, I wanna, I wanna do this, this and that. My husband's like, why are you just telling us now? Shouldn't you like plan this days ago? And he's like, well, we just came up with the plan. So that's how they do it. Um, yeah. So. I think he's gonna have some friends over. They're gonna watch the UFC fight. And, uh, oh, I know what Lou and I are gonna do. So Lou and I are gonna color Easter eggs on uh, tomorrow. I might need to go buy some more eggs today. Hopefully the store has more and they're not like super expensive. But uh, yeah, we're gonna color eggs. I told her, cause she's 10 and I said, and I think she believes, but I don't really know. She's playing like she does, but I think she knows. Uh, but she, um, she wants to color Easter eggs still. I'm like, aren't you getting a little too old for this? She's like, no, okay. So I think we're gonna do eggs Friday. And then, uh, so yeah, we'll do his birthday on Saturday and then Sunday's Easter. And like I said, we don't have any plans. You know, we're kind of gonna be getting together and doing stuff for his birthday the day before. So um, yeah, the kids will probably get an Easter basket from the Easter bunny. And it uh, sounds like we'll do some eggs, color some eggs. I remember I was the same way. I did not, out of all their traditions, like if, when I was growing up, the one that I did probably the longest and additional like trick-or-treating was definitely coloring Easter eggs. I just didn't want to give that up. If my mom and dad are listening, I know that they would definitely, I don't know how old I was, probably like 13, 14. I still wanted to be doing Easter eggs. I'm, I don't even know if it was older than that, but I didn't want to give that up. I don't know why y'all, it's just hard. Yep. 
All right, so what else? So that's the weekend. And then, um, like I said, Monday, Ryan's getting his braces. The good thing is um, there is no school Monday because I was worried about him missing more school and like with these three doctor's appointments, I didn't want you know that to happen. So I was like, oh no, you know, we don't wanna, I don't, he can't miss any more school because we've already had some issues with that. So yeah, you know what? You know what I just realized you guys, like almost an hour into this, I did not even ask you. I thanked you for being here and I told you how much I loved you, but did I ever ask you how you are? <laughs> no. Well, at least I remembered before we ended, but I'm so sorry. That's like hanging out with somebody at the very end. How are you? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't even ask how you guys are. I was just kind of, I don't even know what I was saying in the beginning. Who knows? I'll have to go back and listen. But I'm so sorry if I didn't ask how you guys are. I don't think I asked. So let me know how you are down in the comments. Um, I love to catch up with you guys. I love to hear what you're up to. I love, you know, it seems like some of y'all like to follow my life and what I'm up to, but I'm the same way with you guys. I love to hear what's going on. So love the, the, all the updates. So let me know. Let me know what you worked on. And hopefully we'll see you on Easter. I've got something fun planned. Uh, we did it last year, I believe, because I found it in my Easter box of Easter decorations. It's uh, Mad Libs. I have an Easter Mad Libs. So I think we must have done that last year. I haven't gone back and watched the video, but um, I found it in the bucket. So I was like, I think we did this. I think I bought them. And if you're not familiar with Mad Libs, it's where... There's a, it's a book and you actually, um, so it'll ask for, a, so there's a story, right? And you don't know what the story is until you're done filling in all the words. You basically, it'll ask you for like a noun or an adjective or a verb and it can be whatever. And then you plug those words into the story and then you read the story out loud afterwards. And it's, sometimes they're hilarious. Sometimes they make no sense. You know, it's just really, really fun. So um, we might do some Easter ad libs. Maybe have some, you know, Easter eggs, maybe with some prizes. I don't know. I haven't, you know, I don't know. You never know, y'all. You just never do. So, yeah, hopefully y'all are doing good. Hopefully your, like I said, your week has been good. We got, uh, you know, like I said, I don't know if a lot of y'all are off tomorrow. Let me know. Um, I don't know if Good Friday is like a big holiday. But um, hopefully y'all have a restful weekend and have a good Easter weekend. Uh, I'm excited about... I kind of need to get my act together. I, you know, I'm excited about Ryan's birthday and Easter, but it's all in one weekend. So I feel like it's a lot of like things that I have to kind of be on task, you know, and like plan for. I have bought things a while back, but they're all kind of hidden in the closet. So I kind of need to make sure, pull everything out and make sure I've got everything I need for all the things. And because I have today. Actually, after this, I'm gonna load this video up and then um, once I get it out, I need to head out and go to the grocery store because we're out of food. And then I need to, again, make sure I've got everything for Ryan, everything for Easter. Yeah, do all the things I need to get done, y'all. I mean, I still have tomorrow, but with them being home, you know, it could be a little bit harder to ugh, get things done. So, all right, y'all. I don't know how long we've been going because I can't see my screen, but it feels like about an hour. Hopefully, it's, if it's a little less, I'm sorry. If it's a little more, sorry. I know last week, I think, was over. Um, but thank you all again. Thank you so much for being here. I think I caught you up on most of the things that happened. So let me know. Let me, you know, catch up on you. Let me know how you are. And what else? I just, uh, my parting words that I thought about this week. Um, it's not what, and this is what my dad used to say to me all the time. My stepdad. It is, it's not what people say. It's how they make, it's not what people say, it's how they make you feel. So just keep that in mind. You know, it's easy for someone to say something, but what's most important is how someone makes you feel, right? So just keep that in mind. Remember that for yourself, for others. Um, yeah, so just remember that. That's the words of wisdom from Shay this week. <laughs> all right, thank you all so much. I'm gonna get out of here. I've got to film some unboxing videos, so I'll be looking for those. I've got to go grocery shopping and I might need to get some more eggs, you know, all the things. I need to make a list. All right. So love you guys so much. Um, if you have not subscribed, uh, would love to have you. It's free. There's a subscribe button down below. So just click on that and you'll be part of my world. And then there's a notification bell right next to that subscribe button. And if you click on that subscribe button and the, the, the bell, you'll be uh, subscribed and notified every time I post up any new videos. Okay. 
And I hope to finish this today, or maybe tonight. I'll post up a, a little picture when I get done and I'll uh, be able to show y'all a finish, which will be kind of fun. I haven't had a finish in a while, so what it feels like. But yeah, y'all keep diamond painting or whatever your, your craft is and enjoy yourselves. And y'all take care. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye guys.